assalamu alaikum children so today in this video we will study about good student we already studied the lesson number 13 good student part 1 that is part 1 and this is like part 2 so in that you studied about how a good student should be so in this chapter is uh, you will study about the qualities of a good student okay you will study about the qualities so coming to the book let's be a good student let's do all our works in a disciplined manner we must keep our books and bags in correct place in the classroom let's be good students let's do all our works in a disciplined manner we must keep our books and bags in the correct place uh, correct place in the classroom so a good student not only mean going to school on time consistently doing homework and who is always pleasant by looks okay a good student should be a leader a competitor and an achiever right a good student must always do hard work they always push themselves to great to do great things and they consistently hard work they they keep on doing hard work they never stop to achieve their goals okay to achieve their goals they will keep taking risk and do great things to achieve anything they want so they will do small things but in a great way they will do small things but in a great way when they are in the process of achieving something they won't hurt any people they will do what they want to achieve it okay so and they will always be punctual and disciplined in what they do and in between the progress of their goal they will always work in a disciplined manner so always they keep in mind to be disciplined in uh, disciplined in the manners right so not only in their works uh, they will be disciplined in their actions right actions the way they talk okay a good student will always be humble and be kind right so we must also try to be a good student in life Uh, so see the picture uh, the award of excellence can you see the blue picture that says you have to be excellent in everything that is your manners mannerism excellent in who you are who you are going to be excellent in your studies you have to be excellent in your studies that means you must be a bright student right bright and a smart student you have to work smart not only hard working smart saves precious time that said for example if you study islam for four hours but you still take low marks but a student who study lightly but smartly that is to know how to study properly but in a short and simple but in a short and simple way and how and how to have a good memory power so if you take math a subject you have lot of methods to solve a sum solve one sum but you can choose an easy way to solve the same sum within few minutes so always be a smart kid okay so the second paragraph let's put our desk and chairs in order let's put the waste paper into a bin let's put a cloth on the teacher's table let's keep a vase with flowers on the table again let's put our desks and chairs in order let's put the waste paper into a bin let's put a cloth on teacher's table let's keep a vase with flowers on the table we must keep our books and bags in correct place so if you'll have a specific place to keep your bags you all have to keep it there or else if you don't have you can keep it behind your uh, behind your chair 
so they are talking about how you can keep your classroom clean and how to keep it beautiful it's the simple thing simple way that keep your classroom beautiful right keeping our desks and chairs in order we have to arrange it in order like when a teacher come in so she can so she can come in right so you have to arrange in a proper way that she can enter the classroom so putting the waste material into a bin you should not litter the floor we must put all the litter in the bin not on the floor right you have to keep a bin separate bin to collect all the litters and do not uh, and to beautify the class we uh, we can keep a flower vase paste charts to make the classroom look nice and pleasant third point uh, third paragraph let's welcome our teacher by saying assalamu alaikum let's offer prayers after school let's get together with members of our family and have lunch let's thank allah let's welcome our teachers by, teacher by saying assalamu alaikum let's offer prayers after school let's get together with family me, with, with family members of our family and have lunch let's thank allah so welcome teacher and welcome your friends by saying salam like assalamu alaikum that means peace be upon you and soon after school you will feel very tired i know but you first have to take a shower and you have to pray because you can't miss we can't miss our prayers right you studied how important a single prayer is it is a big sin if we don't pray and then you can have your lunch with your family members and thank allah for every blessings all of you must have these qualities of a good student right so good student is not easy it take it takes hard work it takes time okay so you have to uh, you have to be a good student okay then next page page number 25 you have exercise how would you keep your classroom clean i want you all to write 10 sentences not 5 uh write 10 sentences and uh send to me personally i will check so you have this ca- picture coloring uh, that is alhamdulillah you have to color this picture also okay children and that's it